Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing, my people? I hope you're doing fantastic. It's Teshua Jogona here on Teshua Jogona Vlogs. Guys, if you're new here, karibu, karibu sana. That means you're welcome in Swahili. You're welcome. Get a seat. You know, here it's about learning. We learn everything UK, lifestyle, work visa, visit visa, how can you come in as a student, all those good stuff. You know, that's what we learn here. So with, with no further ado, guys, you know, for you and you and you that keep coming and watching my content, thank you and I do not take you for granted. You have seen we are growing and you've seen from where we've come from. So it can only be God and your generosity and your support. And let's continue doing that. And I promise, guys, I will not let you down. I will keep bringing and coming, uh, coming in with content that will be beneficial to you. And also they will be beneficial to me because they will fulfill my purpose of knowing that I'm passing uh, information that is informative to people. So today I would like to say um, over the weekend uh, something, uh, something happened and which was a shame. And it was more of um, I had the, uh, 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 um, there was information and it was it is about a guy. That guy, of course, he has said he has uh, been asking questions, and finally he got a COS. But unfortunately, unfortunately, a small mistake or very a small mistake that made a, a small mistake or a small error or a small like something small cost him not to get the visa and that's something very sad because for you to get a certificate of sponsorship oh my god you've been applying and applying you for you've watched probably Teshua Jogona uh, vlogs like I, I have like 150 so I would assume probably you've watched like a hundred of them to be able to be in a position that you got the job you uh, you went through um, interviews you are shortlisted all those the company has sent you certificate of sponsorship jesus you've you've done so much so to come to a point that when you feel you you you're coming to a point that you should <sighs> relax and then you wait for the decision and the decision is negative you did not get the visa that is sad it's actually actually it eats me it's not my visa, but because you people are my people, it eats me. It eats me because we are we all want the 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 our outcome should be positive. But anyway, I want to say everything happens for a reason. And sometimes things happen so that ourselves we can learn and we don't do the same mistake. Yeah? So this is what happened. Remember, when I say that you, the government requires you to have £1,200 in your account for maintenance, yeah? yeah? But you can you can get away with that. If your company or organization that you got the job from, they say that they're going to finance you or, you know, pay for everything and maintain your food and everything. However, they might say it verbally, but remember, they need to show it on paper that they are going to do that so on this certificate of sponsorship they should tick that to make sure like ticking and you know it means that they have agreed you you get it so what happens is they left it which it wasn't um it wasn't like a, a, a intentional mistake yeah, it wasn't an intentional mistake. Remember, everyone is learning from these things. And that's why when I come, like I've, I've said this, I've passed this information. 
if you are lucky to get the certificate of sponsorship, you will remember what Tesh said. So that even when you, your certificate of sponsorship is sent to you, you will be there looking at the box. They ticked this, they ticked this, they ticked this, they ticked this. And you will remember that there was something about if they are going to, to take care of all your, your needs. So they need to tick that box. So they did not tick it. And that's what cost that guy not to get the visa so remember you have certificate of sponsorship does not guarantee you getting a visa but this is because sometimes it's a very small mistake that can really really cost you anyway thank god the, of course the 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 company will will you know we'll do the right thing now but unfortunately a lot of time has been consumed and also remember when you apply for a visa and you're denied any kind of visa they do not refund the money so that means you have to pay again if i'm the one applying for a job i know where i come from and sometimes even getting that 1,200 pounds sitting in the account can be very, very difficult. But me, I would love to say that regardless if your employer says that they are going to, 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 make, to do everything for you, I will also urge you, my viewers, to still meet that criteria of having the 1,200 pounds in your account for the last 28 days. Yeah? So you can see... In my case, I would like to say that the good thing about the UK immigration, it's not influenced by anything. And that's why I keep insisting that the person that is giving you certificate of sponsorship and the person that is giving you the visa, they're like this. Very different people. And they cannot be influenced in any way. Yeah? It's you, you meet, the, you meet your the needs of the um, of employment and then you take all your paperwork which will be the tb t it can because you're coming here for more than six months then you need to do your tb you have your tb certificate you have your valid passport you have your english uh, proficiency you have all those things together then you take them to the visa immigration you can see how different it is so the different the visa immigration it will do their job and then make sure you've met their own criteria for you to get the visa uh, for you to get the visa so what i want to say is please 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 all the paperwork even the paperwork that you've been sent by your employer read them carefully make sure you understand what the paper is talking about and then before you going for your submissions to, to uh, for your submission okay Another thing I would like to say is yeah, the immigration. What they do is if you do not get your passport, uh, if you do not get your visa, they are kind enough to write down why you did not get your visa. And that's why this guy knows because he's being told uh, there is no proof. There is no proof. There is no evidence of how you're going to maintain yourself while in the UK. Yeah. And... All the same, the reason why they did not put their bank statement there or anything, it's because verbally they had or the company had agreed to look after him or to, you know, to provide all those things. Unfortunately, that mistake happened unintentionally and it was not ticked. So it cost the guy the visa, but he had everything. And wherever you are, I wish you all the best. It, it shall be well. Everything happens for a reason. So, I would also want to say, like my case, I've been, I've been in the UK for more than a decade now. But my first visa, I was denied. Being denied, it doesn't mean it's the end. Or being denied, it doesn't mean that it will not happen. No, 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 no. It's just a matter of time. And it's, you know, some things happen so that, you know, you learn about something or... It is what it is and also your level of you know we have, you know your faith had to, has to be tested that is that is life your faith has to be tested because if i gave up and not do or not check okay of course my heart sank at that particular minute but i was like wait a minute 
let me go and see why they have denied me a visa. And I checked. Remember, actually it looks really bad because they even write, like they stamp, um, like a sign of denial, they stamp the date they denied your visa. And remember when you're applying visa, like at the UK visas, they always ask if you've ever been denied before. So, for me, there, there was only one way. And I keep insisting. Me, I will not give up on myself and I will not give up on my God. Because whenever I believe that he's the only one that can take me out of situations, man, things work out. They have always worked out. But whenever I feel like I'm the one that can take out myself out of the situation, then things fail big time. So let's put our priorities right. I went back there and I knew this is teaching me something. I read everything. And sincerely speaking, they had a right. They had a right to, at first you're like, you're human. You'll be like, why? Why are they doing this? But you're reading there, you find that. They're telling me, you have money in your account. But my first passport, when I took my first passport, I was a student. I, had, I was a student in Kenya. So they're like, you have money in your account. Then where did the money come from? Guys, what I did is I, was, I had worked as a part-timer in one of the companies. They gave me some, um, they gave me uh, some of the, some of the, Something to show that they were paying me, yeah? And what, we used to get paid by checks. If you're Kenya, you know the equity checks, yeah? That bank. So they, and they wrote down that they had employed me, blah, 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 blah. And then um, my husband was sending me supporting money while I'm in Kenya. So I put together the documents from Western Union and MoneyGram. That's what we used to use then, those days, MoneyGram or Western Union. So I put them together. Do you know... I redid the paperwork and sent it. And I think it, it used to take 15 working days, if I'm not wrong. And, you know, two days later, if you're in Kenya, you know Luthuli Avenue, how noisy it is. I was in town. And it, I saw this um, unknown number, and I picked it up. And they were like, are you so-and-so? Yeah. And it's so noisy. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm thinking, who... Who is this? And they said, okay, your decision has been made by the UK immigration. You can come and, and pick your decision. Because remember, they cannot tell you what the decision is. Yeah? They cannot tell you what the decision is. They will just tell you your decision has been made. Oh, my God. My heart sank. I knew now I have made mistakes. How can they? What? Two days ago, I submitted. That means <laughs> that means now the mistakes that I have done, they are even more than what they had told me. So, guys, anyway, that day it was too late to go to the uh, to the embassy. It used to be, if you guys know, it used to be near Kenyatta National Hospital. If you're from Kenya, but now they changed their offices or they are in Westlands. So I went there. And, you know, you're waiting for your turn. You, you know, you go and get the number. That's what used to happen then. You get the number and you're looking at the wall for the number. You go to the reception, you get your bag. Ah, and I felt, ah, this bag is a bit um, not heavy than the previous one, the one that, that I was denied. Reason being, when you're denied a visa, they include other paperwork to show you the reason why you have been denied. But this time round, it was only my passport and my photocopies. Because guess what? Not only th because the previous visa I had applied, that's another thing. I had applied for a visit visa. So I had applied for the wrong visa. So this time round, which is six months, so that was the wrong visa. So this time round, I applied for the correct visa. Remember, they don't tell you which is the correct one. They will just tell you the visa you have applied is not the correct one, considering what you're going to do in the UK. So I did my homework. I applied the correct visa. Remember, the difference is that time the visit visa was 6,000 and the visa that I was applying was supposed to apply was 28,000 Kenyan shillings, which at the moment I hear that visa is way above at the 1,000 pounds at the moment. So you can imagine what when it was it was it's been a while so anyway i applied for the right visa guess what 
guys i could not open the envelope i took a matatu or you know, the public transport you know what i mean if you're from those ends i went home i could not open it and then i waited for someone that i trust we opened together and guess what i had been given a four year visa so guys um a no for the first time does not mean you can never get it check why you were denied and again if you can correct the mistakes that will because <laughs> uk they make sure that they will look for all reasons not to give you so look for all reasons for them not to they will not deny you even if it means writing a letter to prove something do it or evidence because at the end of the day unless unless it's really necessary for them to call you for a sit-in interview when you submit your paperwork that's what there is to to consider you're not there to say oh i reached there oh i can speak english no it is what you have submitted so do your best whatever need tick tick whatever need signing signing someone said they they were denied a visa because of not signing their invitation letter but you know this is something that people take for granted if i invite you you should also write a letter to say you know yes i have received an invitation from tesh and if all if all goes well and my visa process is successful i'm happy to go and visit tesh and and you know and see this and this it shows that you agree it's not like i'm fearing you from wherever you are by for like you are agreeing you're happy to do those those are the things that they look but people take them for granted so guys i hope oh god it's gone almost 17 minutes but i hope this video helps someone out there if you have any questions please do not hesitate do not you know comment down below ask the question go to my uh, ig it's teshua jona and i make it very simple no way i haven't changed in, in names on facebook it's teshua jona so that you can get me anywhere if i don't answer i always go i try my best to go through them but i will get to them at some point guys and if you put on the comment section mostly like when the video is new yeah i take time to uh, to to reply to most messages so i will see your question until next time guys haha <laughs> be kind and please stay safe it's a lovely day it's a really really lovely day sun outside